Greetings, YouTube. Kunis here, and it's continuing Hungary in World War II. Where we last left off, the front was moving nicely. We'd helped probably topple China for good. And uh, we had lost most of our army in a weirdly weird scuffle. Anywho, let's continue. Hopefully we build some of our army. And what the hell am I even doing with these guys? Oh yeah, I'm sending them towards China. Yes, there was time between these recording sessions. Um, I really hope that these two armies don't suffer the fates that this army got. Um, yes. Hey, Tibetan Empire. You want to join the Axis? We're a pretty chill people. Uh, German Hike has expeditionary forces from the Tibetan Empire. That sounds cool. You're allied to a bunch of things. Okay, no, you already are in war with us. Good. Good. Now, when are we getting Sweden in here? All right, Sweden. You're 61% fascist. You know you want to join the best faction and help us topple Norway. Yeah, that's a great idea, right? Um, I really hope we go and uh, drop the UK soon, because uh, I have a not very good feeling about those drops in China being the most optimal idea for us to win this war. Also, how has the British Raj not capitulated yet? It's like, good in two. Hmm. Yes, okay, these guys. Run faster! What is this? Level 2 trained, level 3 regular. You're taking a bunch of attrition in the mountains. Um, you're at 5% of your manpower. I think that is exactly why it happened. The, the other army has disappeared. Good to know. I need to look at these numbers way more before I start making calls like these. Okay, uh, Strat Bomber 3. I like me some Strat Bombing. Um, how am I looking for armors? There are still some things to develop in armors. Oh, it does me. Nice! Found one. Alright. We will research all of the tech at this rate. Especially if Germany and Spain take forever to go drop uh, the UK. Light SP anti-artillery, cool. Uh, I believe I'm researching everything else. Artilleries! Why not the anti-tanks? Factories? Sure, I have one free factory. What can it even do that is useful for us? Uh, more strat bombers. Let's make them Strat Bomber 2. Yes. That sounds good to me. <sighs> our advanced artilleries are not being produced fast enough for our needs. Nor are our infantry equipments. Oh, but we're very low on steel, too. Right, that was going on because uh, no one was trading steel anymore. Ah, uh, you can't get good trade partners anywhere. I swear. Um. Oh, come on, Sweden, join the Axis. We are the best faction. Oh, hey, Finland got cut in two. Lost its progress, that's unfortunate. Um. But China is, uh. Barely holding on, I guess. Where are these guys? Is your manpower lower? No, it's still 452. Alright. Let's go. I see the Raj is getting properly deleted, but it's still so slow. Oh, hey, there's a little Italy blob that's growing down here. That's adorable. You're adorable. Look at these guys just invading China. Ah, Japan is free again. New Mongol Empire and uh, Dictatorial Xinjiang are doing the work. Ah, beautiful. Simply beautiful. 
what is left in the world? Um, still the issue of what to do with uh, Africa. Because I feel like everything has stalled down here. Hey you. What's your stats? I want to click this army, for example. You are operating on... 28% of your manpower total. And you are currently suffering attrition and having supply problems. Because of course you are, you're stuck in the sand. And there's a lot of British troops. Medium tank destroyer too, yeah! We're done with these uh, anti-airs, it is. Nice, medium SP artillery is done as well. We're done with the doctrines. We're not done with the boats. Carrier is being researched. Nice. Not that we need boats. I mean, that's that's a given, but still. How many boats do I have? Uh, logistics. How many boats do I have? I have 181 convoys. There's an achievement for getting a thousand. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. We're not going to get that achievement. This is not happening this uh, this campaign. I mean, unless it takes forever to drop the UK, and I need to use 1,000 convoys to drop the UK. But I don't see that happening. Realistically. Um. What? No, I wanted to click on Germany. Damn it, icons. In Germany. Ask for control of state, he will not give me stuff. Okay. I would take a Pyrus off his hands. It would be my pleasure. Need more ports, you see? Need to make more boats. Where else can I get ports? Oh, I used to have some in Ukraine. Hey, Romania. Wanna give me some land? No, of course not. You stink. Alright. Super heavy anti SP air. This is, this, these names are becoming a mouthful. Okay, we're already researching the artillery things. It is boat o'clock! I've developed these. More submarines, why not? Because we cannot do boats, but we sure can do boats that sink. That's the best idea. You know, if you're not sure how to do boats, you start with the ones that don't need the flute. It's a great tactic. And China is still not capitulated. Um, nor is People's Republic or China, surprisingly. <sighs> and this front line is static. It's kind of stupid. Also means I won't be able to attack in it. Uh, my manpower is not doing fantastic at all. Hmm. Force comparisons. We are stronger. Good to know. I'm still exploring the HUD. It's been like 30 something episodes and I'm still exploring the HUD. And discovering things as it should be. Um. Yeah, you're not reinforcing your manpower at all. Um. But you are almost full. Hmm. Infrastructure makes you move 25% slower. A pity. What should we do? What should we do? Hey, the front has been vacated here. We can advance. Chongqing? I probably butchered that name. Alright. Menguku exists again, kind of. Greece? Greece has troops lost here. Why? Why? Well, who knows? Um. Yeah, China is finally falling. How close are they to capitulation? 
82% uh, towards capitulation. The People's Republic of China is at less than that. Um, how is there a spot here? I guess it just never bothered to take it. It never mattered. Ah, beautiful. What should we do? What should we do next? This is still not moving. I feel like we're just static down here. Wait a minute! I have detected an opportunity! An opportunity to not be in the sand anymore! Will I make it? No, I will not. Maybe I will. I'm clearly trying. You're moving away. Heck, if I can conquer that... That would actually move the front forward a little. That would be nice. <sighs> and that would be just a giant wedge. Like, I feel like I'm going to have to force the African front. And that sucks. Because the African front sucks. Get more boats. More boats! Uh, am I still moving? Yeah, I'm still moving. Apparently I displaced these guys. Oh, something else appeared and is dead right away. Beautiful. This guy's not moving. Okay. Oh no. Something has stopped us. Well, we were stopped. So much for that. I have tried. It was a terrible decision, as I called it. But I had to try anyway. How is this guy there? Or maybe it's just that we pushed here. Something like that, that seems right. France owns Ethiopia. Because Italy took it. Okay, the Chinese front still stuck. The African front is still stuck. Bhutan has not joined Righteous Axis. Which is unfortunate. Because we need us some Thunder Dragon Empire in here. Um, let's see. Ooh, this is about to touch France, and then we'll be able to invade this uh, French Indochina. Perfect. Simply perfect. Mm hmm. Now, troop production is still halted because we still have no manpower. Despite our best effort, our factories are building, which is nice. I don't need any more troop weapons for a while. I can always go for more modern tank production. And let's face it, who needs steel anyway? Uh, we filled out our infantry requirements. Let's uh, send you all the way to the bottom where you're not gonna hog all the steel so that everything else can produce better. There we go. That's an improvement. You're producing on empty. But at least you're producing. Yeah, that's one way to split the resources a bit better. Heck, I think I'll just send you to the bottom of the line. Yeah, that seems better. That way our steel is used more efficiently. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was accidental mouse wheel. Um, why are you still alive? Why is there a giant wedge? Is that like a failed encirclement or something? <sighs> wow, the Chinese capital is holding us strong. Where are you guys? You're still trying to get there. It's a slow process. Um... Yes. 
No kidding that we are fighting on low manpower. Hey, there's an empty hunk of sand. It's not empty anymore. Now it is, because we pushed something out of it. We really want to get past the desert. So that we stop having such heavy supply penalties. Is that six stack of British stuff moving? There are stuff that are moving, but... Let's send them here. Give us a chance to move the front forward a little. Maybe. We can dream. I don't think it's gonna work, but I want to try anyway. Actually come here first, and then here. That seems right. Let's move the front forward a little. Oh no, we ran into something. Uh, but somehow we're winning. Somehow we're winning. Somehow we're not going to be winning for much longer. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But if too many reinforcements show up, we're not going to be winning any longer. Come on. Come on. I want to see the lines fill up as we invade. Are we finally going to move this front forward? This front has stagnated. Something got in my way, and... Come on! Yes! We have taken it! It is ours now. Are we even going to succeed at taking this? I haven't lost troops yet, but my manpower can't be too great. Um... Yeah, stuff keeps showing up with no organization whatsoever. Can you fail to take that? No, you're succeeding. You might actually succeed. Nice! We have pushed the front forward and back! Yeah! That happened. Um, good job on the gains. I hope that the AI reacts, because I can't hold these lines by myself. We did get a step closer to uh, the all-important not-desert. But it's not happening fast enough. Um. Oh yeah, the AI did react. Nice. Are we gonna take it? How are you doing? Oh, we took it! We have taken it! Great success! And then we're moving down there. Because who cares about this portion of the line? Realistically. Um... Yeah, I'm wondering... That was a nice little helping push, but can't do too many of those. My resources don't permit. Toad anti-tank. Uh, this can become an anti-tank upgrade. Sure. I don't use anti-tanks, but I'll upgrade them anyway. Okay, you guys are still moving. I... Really hope that these guys come and reinforce me soon. Ah, we've managed to entrench ourselves. Oh, hey, we moved forward here. That was unexpected, but it happened. Beautiful. Beautiful. One more stack of armies that is out of the sand and into the less bad um, plains. Yes. That is preferable to reduce our attrition. This giant stack of UK troops is still causing a rampage. But things will be much better once China capitulates. 
And holy crap, are they fighting tooth and nail to not die? Um. My troops are almost here. Well, one of them is. The other is really, really slow. Because they're running in terrible supply conditions. <sighs> Let's force these guys to move the front forward a little. I think that's the best we can manage. These guys are still pushing, though. It's beautiful. But we still haven't taken Chongqing, the capital. Yes. I'm pretty sure it's just the new capital, it's not the official one. Because the official one would be like... Be no, Beijing. It's not his capital. Nanjing? Nanqing? That one? It's worth 20 victory points, it has to be. Yeah. It is a major city. Those are the two normal capitals of China, as far as my knowledge of Chinese history goes. I don't think this has ever been their capital. I might be very wrong, though, and I would love to be told that I'm wrong. That would uh, teach me things. I like learning. Uh, jet Strategic Bomber. Yeah! I'm going to Jet Strat Bomb the crap out of the UK. With nukes! That's the dream. Now! What do we got here? Nort is isolated. Why is there a missile? Toad in the air. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Maybe it's a radar station. Anti air upgrade. Yeah! Useless. Utterly useless. Hey, we have a troop! It appeared! None of our armies re need reinforcement at the moment, but it appeared! I have a troop! Nice! Um. Okay. Come on, I need the China front to capitulate. Because once that happens, the Raj will fall and everything will fall, like, pretty much one after the other at that point. With that amount of troops just storming south. Yeah, Saudi Arabia is going to capitulate soon, though. Nice! Our gains are staying strong. And we have retained this province too, the Libyan Desert. <sighs> Excellent. How about you go here? With all of these armies. That seems preferable to me. I like me a bigger front line. And it's not going to be bigger, it's just going to be out of the sand. Yeah, let's conquer the crap out of the uh, not sand. This is very relevant to me. Oh, factories that are bored. More tanks! Yeah! Uh, did I edit my divisions properly? Yes, they're made with modern tanks. Good! Maybe someday we'll see a new violence division. It's gonna be fantastic if that's the case. Are you guys winning? They are probably winning. I'm not sure for how long, but they're winning. Ah. <sighs> Okay, this is gonna be ours. And my armies have not lost troops. Good. We're just gonna reduce the size of our attrition by being on this plains. That's what I'm after. I want to preserve whatever supplies I'm trying to accumulate. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I would like my stats to actually go up. My army size has actually gone up. Surprisingly. Um. Okay. Oh, it's getting hard. It's getting hard to win. It's getting hard, it's getting face rolling. Holy crap, I can push them out if I want. 
Good, we have uh, secured a new location. Excellent. And no divisions have disappeared. We'll even secure this. Nice, we'll be past the stupid desert on my side at least. Ah, good. Very good, that takes care of that front. As far as I'm concerned, I just want to see it happen. I also want to see China capitulate. Come on, take the province. Oh, something's attacking? Oh, there's a failed attack going on. Okay, good. We've taken the province. There we go. Now, how much attrition are we taking here? Bad supply. That is it. No desert, no garbage, only bad supply. That's a bit more tolerable for the time being. It is going to be hard to supply through Egypt, but still. We take what we can get. Um, okay, enough of this for now. 20 troops. Holy crap. Holy crap. Hmm. There's little random skirmishes going on. Uh, I feel like the front of the Raj is not moving at all. Now what can we do here? Nope. Don't attack. I'm gonna come down here. Make a wedge. Uh, whoa, one of these armies is, uh, oh yeah, it's still that dead. It's probably not gonna see any more troops, it's probably just gonna disappear. Which is very sad. But, I mean, if it's not reinforcing, I can't expect it to, uh, feel better, really. Hmm. Not enough manpower to reinforce, clearly. Um, we still haven't taken that province, but yeah, I feel, actually I feel like this has stagnated a little. Mengaku is reappearing. It seems that this north will fall soon, and we'll see Beijing fall to our hands. <sighs> but. 86% capitulation, and you are 38% capitulation, even though you're smaller and more surrounded. <sighs> yeah, come on, guys, win faster. You can do it! Another factory that is bored, how about we do more strategic bombers, and now we can do strategic bombers 3. Yeah! I have a board factory, some more bombers. Alright. That seems good to me. We need to produce more advanced artilleries. Let's give you more steel to do what you need to do. So definitely need, don't need those things. Um, I do need support equipment though. But I've supplied more steel for at least the advanced artilleries to produce, because they're kind of the meat of our uh, front line. Okay, submarine. I feel like this is still advancing. And I feel like it's my AI that's doing it. The Thunder Dragon Empire joined the Axis! Yes! Yes! Glorious! Um, I don't need to boost your popularity anymore. Well, technology sharing is not possible. It's joined us in the German-Polish war. A war that has now been going on for over ten years. Yes. The world is in a state of permanent warfare. It appears. Although there are pockets of peace. 
like Sweden. But not for much longer, they will be convinced to join their European brethren. And for now, I've reached the end of the episode. So I'll thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.